Hello everyone, I am Professor Amit Vyas, Computer IT Department from Doctors First Technical Campus. Today we are discuss about the mobile IP and IEEE some standard. Previous lecture we are discuss about what is the GPRS architecture and what is the PDN constraint. So in the GPRS architecture we are discuss about the mobile station, base station and SGS and GGS and, and all the SMS services and how the SMS services are included for the client and server side. Also the SMS services is provided the particular network for the message you have sent then you have not replaced your message. So in the many more GPRS architecture we have discussed the previous lecture. Also uh, we have discussed the transmission plan protocol architecture. It is the how can you communicate the mobile station to base station and base station is directly communicate the SGSN and all the relevant activity is performed the transmission plan control architecture. So now uh, we are discuss about the, what is the mobile IP and IEEE standard. So now the topic is mobile IP. Mobile IP is allow the mobile node to the use to IP address. It is called the home address and care of the address. So what is the mobile IP? Mobile IP is allow the mobile node to use the two IP address. It is called the home address and care of the address. The home address is a static and know the everybody the identity of the host and the care of the address. So we can show that two types of IP address it is called the home and care address. So the home address is a static. It is known as it known the everybody is identify the host. So who is the host is easy to identify and second is the care address. The care address is changed at the each new point of the attachment and can through the mobile node location specific address. So what is the care address? The care address is changed for each and every node of point of the location. So in the base on the point of the location, if the address is changed then it is identified the base on the location. So now uh, this is the two main important thing. So this is one uh, architecture of the mobile IP address. So in the mobile IP you have saw that here are the diagrams of the mobile IP internet connectivity. This is one server X and then it is the home network. So in the home network the server is directly sent the information based on the agent. For example, uh, you have called or sent the data for in, in particular home agent or foreign agent. So what is the foreign agent? Foreign agent it means that it is the outside the network or internal. It is not used the particular topological or routing link information. But in the server, home agent is directly connected to server because so in the home agent it is particular fix IP address. So you have no eyes. So where is the particular person is placed or particular data or particular data we can send. So server is directly sent the home agent and home agent is directly connect the home network apart. And the what is the foreign agent? So in the foreign agent we have so as this is the connection between the foreign agent and home server and then home foreign agent is connected for the foreign network then after is communicate the your mobile node so we can show that here I use X is a IP for the static address as a destination address in the IP header so X header IP is a static address for the server and it is communicate the IP header server X want to transmit the IP datagram for the node A then the home address A is ad advice that is known as the X so X does not know 
whether A is a home network or someone else. Therefore, the X is send the packet to the A, which the A is a home address and the destination IP address and the IP address. So, what is the communicate? A user X is a IP will be static. At that time, the destination address in the IP header. So, what is the communicate? Now, how can you communicate? X IP is a fixed. So, in the IP address in the X server, it is occupied and used for the IP header. So, in the IP header, it is send the data. So, in the send the data in the home agent, then home agent IP address is fixed and it is told that for the server, this is not my IP address, it is go to the foreign agent. So, in the foreign agent, is communicate and directly responds the server. You can repeat that x server is ip address is fixed so home agent is a static so its ip address is fixed so in the server is directly send the home agent first of all and then home agent is told that this is not my ip header because of the server is send that time it is send the ip header or ip datagram protocol use so what is the ip datagram and ip information we can show that in the tcp ip and osi model so first of all server is sent some ip protocol for the home agent and it is identified this is not my ip address and not data protocol is used then is communicate using internet or other routing topological link and is send the information for the foreign agent so foreign agent is identified where is the network or connection is established particular network it is send the information of the node for the foreign agent particular address then it is give the response and finally server got the response so this is the main structuring information of the mobile ip so this is the all the packet data sending information so now same the ip datagram is routed for the home network and the home network is incoming ip data gram it is interrupted the home agent and home agent is disclose the foreign network so we can also be discussed the home agent is disclosed this is the not my ip datagram it is the foreign agent so it is directly communicate and send the foreign agent now it is communicate the mobile node or particular ip datagram then node is provide the response using foreign network and foreign network is communicate particular server so this is the all the mobile ip information so we have, uh, we can show that also the foreign network the incoming ip datagram it is uh, interrupted by the foreign agent and the foreign agent is the counterpart the home agent and foreign network the foreign network is strip off and the outer ip header and deliver the original datagram so you have communicate the foreign agent and it is response to the server and it is possible it is respond to the home agent but this is the topological routing the home agent is directly send the foreign agent so not given the response it directly given the response of the server so this is the mobile ip network so now uh, we have some part uh, what is the registration discovery and tunneling we can show that here So the discovery a mobile node use our discovery procedure to identify the prospective home agent and foreign agent how can you identify this is the foreign agent and home agent it is discovery some procedure it is some sequence it is maintained the server and this is identify the home and foreign agent then after registration a mobile node user is authentication register the procedural information for the home and cadet so in the at a time of the server of the registration the mobile node is register this is the home agent for the authentication server and this is care address it means the home address or static dynamic and all the information it is identified then the tunneling tunneling is used for the forward the ip datagram from the home address to 
care of the address so it is used for the send the ip datagrams or ip information for particular server is send the re response for the network or any other server next uh, we have discussed the wap protocol stack it means the wireless application environment so what is the wireless application environment user agent which is the browser or client program the wireless markup language which is the lightweight markup language is optimized for the use in the wireless device vml script which is the lightweight client side scripting language so what is the client side so all the work in the wml protocol for the client so user side and uh, it is the lightweight it is it means it is easy to understand and use for the client then next we can discuss the wireless telephony application it is called the wtp content is transported using standard protocol so in the www it means the world wide web domain and optimize the http like protocol for the wireless domain so in the www world wide web standard it is used some http standard also so in the http standard is a wireless domain standard in the wireless communication is occupy some particular fixed standard to assign the network and then it is communicate to each other vae architecture is allow the all the content and services to be hosted on the standard web server when the all the content is located using www standard using url system so in the vae architecture we can show that wireless architecture it is allowed to contain and services to be host particular standard web server so you have not communicate to directly for any user or network but it is it is provide some particular standard for the server and server is located and using w standard or w3 standard and this standard is occupy some url so you have send any data in the url and url is communicate the http like responsible and it is directly response to the server next we can show the wireless session protocol so next we can discuss but uh, this is the uh, architecture of the vap protocol state you can show that the application layer it is the wae then the session layer transport layer security and transport layer for the wdp so we can discuss the vae wireless application environment for the application layer it is denoted the wae then the wsp discuss the wsp the wireless session protocol wtp wireless telephony application then wtl security layer and transport layer so this is the some structure of the wat protocols now we can discuss the wireless session protocol so in the wireless session it is provide the some consistent interface between the two session services like the client and server so in the client and server it is provide the some session protocol so session protocol is offer the both the some connection oriented and connection less services so first of all what is the session protocol we can discuss so in the session protocol if the particular time duration the process is not occupied then your process for the server side is stop particular process for example you have online payment for the any process you have complete the online payment or any process for the online purchase any phones or any shoes or any items that time you have go to the transaction and the transaction of the time mostly session is important phase because of it is the uh, main heart of the any protocol so in the online transaction 
your process is continue for the any time duration if the time of the transaction you have entered your amount and the process is occupied so you have given some otp for your particular mobile station to the your phone and your phone you give the otp and the otp is valid within a some 30 second or one minute then after your process is not occupied you have not submit your otp in particular network or particular http server that time your process is stopped and you have closed your session directly for the server side and you have not complete your process and this process it is a importance for the net banking online payment system and the security reasons so this is the many high sensitive wireless protocol is used particular network for the connection oriented or connection less services so this is the main wireless system application then next we can show the wireless transaction protocol so each and every transaction is occupy some use particular protocol and services for the WTP is support some class of transaction services some optional use user to user reliability PDU connection and synchronization transaction it means the user is authenticate and then all the data supporting your server and all the server information is stored in particular transaction base so this is the WAP protocol standard it is the very high sensitive and reliable use for the services next we can discuss the wireless transport layer it is provide the data integrity privacy authentication and denial of services protection so what is the integrity and privacy it means that your data is integral not unauthorized user is used and privacy it is mentioned particular security level so if the person is not access your account or a data it is provide the some security so in the session is expired directly go to the home page and you have filled the user id and password then you have access and also be used some session in the net banking you have not any time uh, number of time you have not used the uh, login process for the at a same server or at a same time so this is the importance so we can show that one example of the security so you have any college or any system and uh, every person is go to the using the wi-fi the based on the user id and password for example in the same server in the student is used particular user id and password and you have not uh, log out or particular session that time you have not access in the second time for the particular security level so this is the importance of the wireless transport layer security so now next we can discuss the wireless datagram protocol it is allow the WAP to be barrier of independent by adapting the transport layer and the understanding of the barrier the W the WDP present the consistent the data format to be high layer to the WAP protocol stack. So what is the wireless datagram protocol? It is allowed the WAP to be independent activity for the transport layer. You can show that in the transport layer we can send the data and minimize and all the services it is used the wireless transportation or transaction of the protocol so now this is the wireless protocol stack we have discussed now we can discuss the cordless system so what is the cordless system it means the cordless system means the wireless system for you have saw that this is the image then uh, this using this phone you have used some office or some any telephone point or any house any home for the wireless system so in the cordless system is a two standard first is digital enhanced cordless telecommunication and then personal wireless telecommunication 
so the d city versus pwt so we can discuss the what is the bandwidth in digital enhanced cordless telecommunication and the pwt personal wireless telecommunication so in the bandwidth is uh, both are the same mostly and the brand of the particular access is mostly same carrier but number of carrier you can show that this is a uh, 10 you have 8 channel capacity is 12 end of years then transmitter data rate then speed rate mostly both are the same but some power consumption is very high for the wireless system and the radius you can both are the same so mostly number of parameters some bandwidth band access methoding carriers end of transmitter data rate all the information mostly the same next we can discuss the wireless local loop so this is the example this is one wireless or uh, some link data server switching center and is communicate the base station of the antenna and their base station is communicate the based on your home based on your office or based on the government agent so wireless local loop WLL this is the system that it is connect a subscriber to the local telephonic station of the wirelessly so how can you communicate the wireless communication wirelessly for the particular residential because of near about the base station so in the base station is communicate the high level signal and the signal is go to the your home so you have connect the wireless system this system is go to the office so office is connect a wireless system it is the government office then you have direct access to all the wireless system so WLL it is a system that connect the subscriber to the local telephone system based on the wireless play in the telephone the loop in the circuit line for the subscriber phone to the line is terminating the equipment of the central office and the implementation of the local loop is expressly rule area and the remaining grids for the many operator due to some fewer user to increase the cost of the material so this is the importance so implementation is uh, uh, very easy but the cost of the particular wireless system is very high so wireless local loop at uh, introduced with some solve the most of the problems you have used the wireless system but the cost is very high also the fixed wireless system is possible so this is one uh, uh, some uh, comparison of the entity or particular technology which is used for the any system some entity some telephonic system broadband system and your computer you have saw that this is one uh, public telephone mostly used for the wire for the twisted pair and ISTL one to two lines is mostly used the broadband it is used mostly in the video on the demand in the high speed asymmetric access mostly use the computer cable operator is used for the uh, coaxial cable it is the same for the telephony 15 plus channel is uh, used for the cable operator cellular providers it is used the cellular or cordless system for the one line for the telephonic system no broadcast broadcast is not possible limited but mobility 3g provider is, is cellular and the same for the access narrowband wll operator is used for the two line and 64 kbps for the computer so in the main mostly in the finally satellite broadcast is a analog and digital data so telephonic is uh, no mostly used 15 plus channel and the computer is not mostly used so this is the mostly comparatively entity and parameters for the wireless local loop now we are discuss the IMAX and uh, IEEE 802 2.16 standard for the particular access so in the IEEE standard first is uh, IEEE 802.16 then 16A 16C E and 2 so what is the main use it is used 16 is used for the medium access control 
one common msc for the wireless main standard it is used for the physical layer then 16a is used to modify the mac address medium access control address and physical layer to use then 16c is detain some systematically profile is used 16e is a physical medium access for the combine the fixed and mobile operation license particular band so it is used to, this is the person it is access a particular network or server it is the fixed the standard for the network and then 802.16.2 is a coexisting for the fixed broadband wireless access system so this is the ieee standard this is the fixed format it is used particular network next we will discuss the ieee 80.216 standard protocol architecture so this is the all the same some information we are discussed so we can discuss the osi layer so in the osi layer we can discuss the coverage then the medium access control so osi physical layer we can show that the physical connection and the transmission so what is the 802.16 architecture we can discuss digital audio and video multicasting you have sent the digital data or multicasting information using ieee digital telephony you have called the without wire or wireless system digitally for the communication you have used the atm transaction for the any person any time you have used the using atm you have uh, withdraw your money then ip address the ip address is a uh, identification for the particular uh, person of the which is the person is identify particular address and location lane connection a black hole it is one types of hole which is use the network virtual point to point connection and the frame relay now uh, your packet is missing or delay then it is the information is provided so this is the ieee standard protocol architecture you have discussed so now uh, this is the all the gprs or uh, gsm and gprs system we can discuss about so we can discuss the previous lecture and the unit number 3 the gsm and gprs we can show the all the architecture of the gsm and also discuss the architecture of the gprs so today we have discussed the gprs architecture of the previous lecture and how it is used so today topics we can discuss the mobile ip so what is the mobile ip so in the mobile ip in the two types first is a home address it means server is identify the fixed ip address and second is the foreign address or foreign agent it means server is send the home address and it is identify this is the uh, not our address because of server is send some ip datagram and ip datagram identify the it is the home address or foreign address so this is the send the information and then it is directly communicate to some node and give the response to the server so this is the mobile ip next we can discuss the wireless application environment protocol vip protocol so in the vip we can discuss the application layer session transaction security and transport so how can you communicate the wireless system to each other and what are the functionality is used we can also be discuss the session and presentation on the security privacy authentication and how can you your atm transaction is valid particular wireless system so this is the main use then we can discuss the cordless system it means your phone is connected the wireless system so now we can discuss the how can you communicate the wireless system to for the home your office and government agency but near about your base station it is connect your home easily in the office easily for the government agent 
but uh, the speed of the wireless station is uh, mostly low compared to the uh, wire system because of uh, many times uh, your call, the data is not connected or or wireless system is not accessed that time is problems is occupied but mostly the you have easy to use wireless local system then this is some parameters of the wireless application then next we can discuss the ieee standard so what is the standard of the ieee uh, we can discuss then this is the ieee protocol architecture for the particular network so this is the all the information gsm gprs unit we can discuss about and uh, this the all the information is completed uh, for this unit so thank you thank you all of you